Net carbs real? This is a great question that I wanted to provide a little bit more nuance on. Net carbs is not an FDA regulated or defined term. Food companies sort of just made it up and they've been putting it on food packages to market their products as low carb. In order to calculate the net carbs, uh, companies typically take the total grams of carbohydrates minus the dietary fiber minus any sugar alcohols. Like I mentioned in that last video, dietary fiber isn't providing four calories per gram to our bodies like other carbohydrates do. As I also mentioned, insoluble fiber can be counted at zero calories per gram, while soluble can be counted at two calories per gram. Depending on the sugar alcohol, those are going to be around two calories per gram as well. So in calculating this net carbs number, it does make sense a little bit to be subtracting the insoluble fiber because again, that's not providing uh, calories to our body but to be subtracting the soluble fiber and the sugar alcohols which do contribute a few calories per gram to our bodies doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and like i said it's not an fda regulated or defined term so the way that companies are calculating it isn't standardized and so they might be calculating it differently so are net carbs real i can see in the case of insoluble fiber where subtracting those carbs would make sense but it's not standardized, uh, companies aren't necessarily calculating it the same, and it wouldn't make sense to treat soluble fiber and uh, sugar alcohols the same and to be subtracting all of those carbs. So it's a little wishy-washy. I would say in general overall, just to not obsess over calories and carbs and just make sure you're getting enough dietary fiber in your diet. I'd love for my dietitian friends on here to weigh in on this as well.